My Helium Bobcats transmit scale went from 1.00 to 0.50 and back to 1.00. Why did this happen and can we do anything about it? Hey, this is Rochelle and welcome to Multiple Passive Streams of Income. When I first learned of Helium, there were about 17,000 devices online and currently there's close to 525,000 devices online. And before I could actually get my hands on one, which took five and a half months to do, I was second guessing my purchase because I was seeing so much saturation where I live. And I didn't exactly know how long it would take to get the device. I didn't know what Helium's price would be in the future. And at that time it was before the having, So that added more uncertainty. And because there is a maximum amount of HNT released monthly, the more devices, the less HNT per device. Now, since I purchased a Bobcat, that Bobcat purchase couldn't be refunded. So there was second guessing occurring as I was waiting for this device to get to me. It's definitely been a bit of an adventure, the five and a half month wait, experimenting with a stronger DBI antenna. I got the relay message, I cleared the relay message, then I got it back again, and I've cleared it again, and so far it hasn't come back. Then, I had a 1.00 transmit scale, go to a 0.50 transmit scale, and then back to 1.00 again. Now first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and that's the saturation that obviously is occurring. Helium releases a monthly maximum supply of HNT of 2.5 million monthly. And the more devices, the more that monthly maximum supply is shared, but it's not shared equally. A big factor is the quality of the devices your device communicates with. Another factor is as new devices come online, are they going to be in your hex or in any of your neighboring hexes? And this is called resolutions. If you look at HIP 17, transmit scales are based on resolution density. And currently Helium utilizes resolutions 10 to four with resolution 10 being the smallest and the closest area to your device. Now the resolutions go down in number 10, nine, eight, all the way to four. And the resolution areas get bigger in size. So let me show you how this looks. Each resolution is made up of your hex and six siblings, which are the hexes that touch the six sides of your hex. So resolution 10 is currently the smallest and the hex is labeled A through F touching your hex are the six siblings also known as your neighbors. If you look at each resolution, we can see that the hex area starts to get larger. So nine is larger than 10, eight is larger than nine, seven is larger than eight, six is larger than seven, five is larger than six, and finally four is larger than five. Each hex in each resolution has parameters that determine density. And when the limits of these parameters are exceeded, the transmit scale is decreased. When my transmit scale went from 1.00 to 0.50, hotspotty.net identified resolution eight as the culprit. 
Here's a screenshot of resolution eight at the 0.50 transmit scale. And here's a screenshot of resolution eight at the 1.00 transmit scale. Now you may have to pause the video to see the slight differences between the two screenshots, but the top screenshot shows resolution eight when I had the transmit scale of 0.50 and the bottom screenshot is the resolution eight at the 1.00 transmit scale. Keep in mind that the green dots are devices that are online and the red dots are devices that are offline. Now notice on the top picture, there's one red dot in hex E. It's the only dot in hex E. And along with the only two dots in hex B, also being offline, that's why they're red in color, this made hex A the only hex with active devices. According to HIP 17, to get maximum transmit scales, resolution eight needs two siblings with at least one active device. So when the one device in hex E went offline, that one device made my transmit scale drop from 1.00 to 0.50, which is absolutely crazy that one device could do that. Now, Obviously, it would be great if the hexes in resolution eight stay as they are. But what if any of the two devices in hex B, which are offline currently, eventually come online? Would that be the start of doom and gloom for my device? I'm not totally sure, but I do believe it would lower my transmit scale because that would exceed resolution eight limit of two siblings because now hex A, hex B, and hex E would have at least one active device totaling three siblings with active hotspots. Now Hotspotty makes recommendations on how you can improve your transmit scale if you ever hit this situation. It told me Strategy one would be to eliminate one hotspot from this hex, the hex that I share with another hotspot, which I can't do because the second hotspot in this hex, I don't own that hotspot. Strategy two tells us to increase the limit by reaching the density target for at least one highlighted neighbor hex below. And that's exactly what happened when the one offline device in hex E came online again, that satisfied strategy two and my transmit scale went back to 1.00. Now, although all of this was out of my control, I can't control who adds a device and whose device is online or not. When density exceeds limits, this may only be temporary because as sibling hexes grow with devices, density limits may increase even though your hex has exceeded its limit. These increases can be as much as 400%. So lowered transmit scales can turn out to be temporary if the neighboring hexes have not yet exceeded their limits. If you're interested in learning more about how this works, just check out my transmit scales video. So in the case of my device, I did have a chance to break even had I cashed in the HNT generated after a month and a half of putting my device online. Now at that time, HNT's price was over $50. I didn't cash in my HNT because I'm basically hodling, right? I just believe that the price will exceed all time highs, even if it takes a while for that to happen. So even though monthly HNT accumulation will be decreasing, 
My plan is just to try to have the best transmit scales while I'm accumulating HNT and hope that HNT's price reaches new highs sometime in the future. Hopefully this video allows you to understand transmit scales and how they affect HNT accumulation. And if you are in a very saturated area where all the hexes have exceeded their limits, maybe consider relocating your device. That could be an option that you might want to take a look at. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and hit the notification bell after you subscribe so you're notified when I drop new videos. Please also like or dislike, all interaction counts. As always, thanks for your time as I know you could be any other place right now. Take care.